I'm here with head coach Matt Logie, Shamrock Campbell, Brian Garaki, come off a 69-61 PacWest opening win over Academy of Art. Coach, I'll start with you. Great way to start PacWest play, 1-0. How huge was this win tonight for you guys? Well, it's, it's, it's significant in many ways. Uh, number one, you know, you got to give credit to, to Art and Coach Waterman, what they're building there. Um, they're a very talented group. They're very well coached, and, and they're one of the best teams in the West region. So um, I thought the schedule that we played in November prepared us for tonight and, and allowed us to, to, to learn some lessons before tonight um, that we were able to apply tonight. So I was really proud of our guys um, for, for, for their effort. And, uh, you know, that's, that's a good win that's going to have a lot of legs down the road. It was a very competitive game throughout, uh, especially you got there close at the end, uh, th three points before Shamrock hit that dagger three-pointer. What, what do you think enabled your team to, to hold on to the win? Well, they, they did uh, a really good job of playing through our concepts, the things that we work on every day, the things that we teach, the things that we want to be about, um, and they did it together. They, they um, you know, they, they got the shots in, in the ways that we um, work on, and uh, it's great to see Sham uh, bust out. You know, he's, he's a great player. He's a great shooter. He's done an awesome job defending and handling the basketball for us, and we've just kind of been, been waiting for, for, uh, for, for that part of Sham's game to, to burst out. So that was great to see. I'm, I'm really proud of him. Um, and, and Brian, you know, he's, he's really had a great start to this year. He's taken huge strides, and uh, he's been very consistent all year long. Well, Sham, 10 for 13 from the floor, 4 for 7 from three-point range, 24 points. What, what was working for you out there tonight? I just felt confident today. and uh, I think Caden draws a lot of attention on defense, so just playing, playing through our concept, like Coach said, and uh, teammates were fine with me, and shots were falling today, so that felt nice. Well, I mean, talk about the confidence to, to take that dagger three-pointer at the end, 64-61. You, you pull up, and it just seemed like you know you were just feeling it out there tonight and, and nothing but net. Just, you talk about that play. Uh, yeah, I mean, the ball just found its way to me at the end, and uh, I've been knocking down shots and felt confident and let it fly with confidence and went down. And Brian, great performance from you as well, 17 points yourself. You, you had probably perhaps the highlight of the night with that dunk in the first half, uh, you know, really, really electrified the crowd. T talk me through that play and just how exciting that was for you. Yeah, so I've been talking to Coach Downer and we watched some film on some, some different closeouts and how to read that. So I saw the hard closeout to the corner and the pump fake drive by and just saw my opportunity and went for it. And yeah, Against a nationally ranked opponent, you played a very tough non-conference schedule. I mean, it, how much confidence does does this win give you guys? This is huge. I mean, it just shows how connected we are, and we are one experienced group. So if we can win games down the stretch like that, stay poised, stay confident, and execute, we'll be we'll be really good. And Coach Sham touched on it. I mean, just the attention that Caden draws. You know, Eleven points out of him tonight. But I mean, how encouraged are you that you know coming off he had forty six the other night. You know, he gets 11 tonight, but you're still able to come away with a win with, with other guys really stepping up. That, that's the beauty of, of this program and, and of these kids. Um, everyone knows Caden's the best player, uh, but Caden just wants to win. And uh, that's the beauty of Caden is, uh, you know, he, he always puts pressure on the defense. Uh, he makes his teammates better, not just because of that magnet that he is but also because he's a willing passer and he's he's unselfish and he cares more about the team than himself and you know if I can get him 32 shots a game I'll try but it's probably not going to be very very possible so um, this team was built as a team and and, and we, we we built this group uh, in mind to, to be able to knock shots down when people collapse on Caden or, or draw attention to him and um, you know we knew that would come and so the the, the the great thing about where we're at is that our defense has been what's carried us, and, and that's the step that our program's been really wanting to take. Yeah, and Shannon, right now, maybe you had the chance. In terms of just defensively, I mean, you held them to 25 of 75 shooting. That's, uh, what was it defensively tonight that you thought enabled you to limit them offensively? Uh, I thought we did a great job just playing one-on-one -on -one defense. I think they, <clears throat> they have a lot of talented players who like to get in space and kind of play one-on-one -on -one and create for each other. I thought we did a good job uh, kind of guarding our man. Yeah. And then we just focused on being connected, helping each other, trying to rotate, make the right play. We had a couple <clears throat> missed charge opportunities, but there were blocks, but that just shows the willingness to step in front and 
Make that play. And coach, you know, one and zero, but quick turnaround on Saturday. Host Dominican. What what's the the message to the guys to, to stay focused for that one? No, I, I'm not worried about these guys staying focused. They uh, they have you know high high aspirations, and um, you know we'll we'll get back to work tomorrow and and um, you know go through the process that we go through uh, every day, every week, and, and that's the great thing about this group is they're very mature. They love being in the gym. They love the work, and um, so we're only going to get better. Yeah, well, step one complete tonight. Gentlemen, congratulations. Best of luck Saturday.